So I've gathered some of the best advice from some of the best Facebook marketers responsible for making literally hundreds of millions of dollars on the platform. And I'm going to share that all with you right now. But on top of that, I'm going to be taking it a step further and breaking it all down into actionable steps. So be sure to keep watching so you can see what steps you can take today to start seeing better results. So first up, we have advice from Alex Hormozzi. Now, if you don't know who he is, he started his first business, scaled it to over $10,000 a month across six locations. And then through his company, Gym Launch, he helped over 4,000 gyms scale in the exact same way. And by the way, I know that not everybody watching this is a gym owner, but the broader media meaning of his advice is applicable to any business in any industry. The formula that I've used for all of the fitness ads um, that we ran and that I ran at my gyms and that we continue to run is a simple formula. The first part is duration. Every fitness-based promotion that you're gonna run is gonna be X amount of weeks, X amount of days. Second piece of the headline, and this is what I see people mess up, is the kind of uh, the, the benefit or the result, okay? So it'd be like six week, six pack, because now you're talking about status within the context of other people. So what he's saying here is use psychology to get people to click. Now there's two things specifically that he's getting at here. The first one is to make your target audience feel seen and understood. So he starts with the ad about the 28 day or 30 day or whatever length of time challenge. Now this directly speaks to our innate preferences as human beings. Most people prefer a manageable goal. They want some that's going to give them quick and tangible results. And so when we see something like get in shape in 30 days or become a better writer in five days, this is enticing to us. And then the second thing he talks about is selling somebody on a lifestyle. So specifically what he says is write copy that refers to your target audience in the context of other people. So write something that says like, this is how you can change how other people look at you. And you see this everywhere. This isn't an uncommon thing. For example, take a look at these two ads. They're responsible for driving millions and sales, watch them and let me know if you can see what they have in common. When it's date night, there's only one thing I'm thinking about. What's that? What I'm gonna wear. Ah! Tonight I'm gonna wear cuts. It's time to become a man with Dr. Squatch. Natural nourishing handmade soap for men. We grow up so fast. Dr. Squatch gets you energized to take on the day, transports your shower, and drives women crazy. Okay, so the Dr. Squatch ad is like two minutes long. I'm not gonna play the whole thing, but what did you notice? They were both selling you on the lifestyle, the status, everything that comes along with the product that you buy, but not necessarily the product that you buy. So the cuts ad heavily implies that this was the order of operations. Man shows up in a suit, man ditches the suit, attractive woman sees that he's wearing a well-fitted shirt, man goes home with the attractive woman. And the Dr. Squatch ad didn't really leave anything up for interpretation. I mean, it literally said, it transports your shower and drives women crazy. And Alex isn't the only one that understands that feeling seen by companies is incredibly important to people nowadays. This is Dara Denny. She's a performance creative specialist and director of paid social, and she's a content creator. She makes a ton of super informative videos about ads and ad strategies. And take a listen to something she said in a recent interview. They learned, oh, okay, our users really just wanna hear from other people just like them. So take note, users don't wanna be sold to anymore. They want to be understood. She also recently put out a video where she said this. A lot of times when I'm working with brands, they'll be like, help. Features point out us versus them, before and afters, UGC, none of that stuff worked. And when I dig into their creative tests, I see, oh, you actually haven't really given a lot of thought to your messaging and you haven't sifted through your customer testimonials or looked through your ad comments to see what types of pain points your customers are actually having with your product or their failed solutions, which is really why the messaging part of it should be the huge anchor in any part of your creative strategy. Which just reinforces the idea. So so what can you take from this? Well, basically look at the overall message that you're sending to your target audience. If you've seemingly tried everything and nothing seems to work, maybe it's not the format, it's the framing. So next up, we have some advice from Rick Mulready. Now, Rick scaled his coaching business to seven figures in four years. He also started, hosted, and sold one of the top rated business podcasts called The Art of Online Business after it got 12 million downloads. Ad creative has been the most important thing with Facebook ads and Instagram ads. And when I say creative, I'm talking about the actual ad itself, the copy, the image, if you're using a video, 
and what have you. Unless your ads are performing super well and meeting all your KPIs, you wanna be regularly testing different creative. Try to always beat your winners, if you will. Now, this may seem like beginner's advice, but you'd be surprised at how often I see businesses run one ad and think, yep, that's it, that'll be good forever. And then it doesn't work, and then they're like, Facebook ads are a waste of money, this is a scam, it's a whole crazy thing. But the reality of it is, nine out of 10 times, you're not gonna get it right on the first try. You should always be trying new formats, new types of creatives, whether that's user-generated, content, us versus them, there's always going to be room to experiment and optimize. And oftentimes, this is why people hire a digital marketing agency, because they don't have the skills or even the time really to just be constantly making new creatives, looking at the analytics, optimizing everything. And honestly, why should they? They have a business to run. So if having someone else manage these ads for you is something that piques your interest, well, then you are in luck because that is exactly what we do here at Life Marketing. We have a mission to help small businesses like these grow. And honestly, we've gotten some pretty amazing results for them. So if you want to learn more about what we do, there is a contact form in the description below you can fill out and you'll receive a free custom marketing proposal and quote. So yeah, always optimize and be making and testing new creatives. And I understand that can be challenging, especially at first, but it's actually pretty simple once you know what to look for and what makes something a good creative. So this is Brandy. Her and the rest of the life marketing team have made millions of dollars online for businesses from clothing brands to food brands and even industrial equipment. And based on all of those experiences, this is what you should think about when it comes to creating your ad copy and how you position your services or your products. If you want to catch their attention and stop the scroll, you need to start with something they care about. Instead of leading with what makes your product better, lead with the benefit the consumer receives as a result of that. For instance, if you sell dishwashers, instead of leading with how your dishwasher has a special cleaning part that competitors don't have, lead with the fact that users won't have to scrub the dishes in the sink before putting them in the dishwasher anymore. They don't care about technical terminology or jargon, they just want to know how it helps them. When you think about what motivates your target audience in regards to your offerings, you'll often find yourself with a list of pain points they're struggling with and want to solve, as well as goals they have and want to achieve. Writing this list out will require extensive research and knowledge of your target audience, because once you have your list of ideas, you'll need to determine which ones are the ones your audience actually cares about. For instance, with the dishwasher example again, not having to hand clean dishes before putting them in the dishwasher is a great pain point to lead with, but only if your target customer is currently currently struggling with that. If they do not currently have to hand wash dishes beforehand, then that's not something that's gonna grab their attention. Maybe they're dealing with a loud dishwasher and they want a dishwasher that's quieter instead. So what does all that mean? Well, basically it means cut to the chase. Attention is single-handedly the most valuable currency that we have online today, especially because Bitcoin took a drop. And there's a lot of noise that you have to cut through online to get that attention. So first, identify what it is that your target audience cares about. Once you have established those needs, ask yourself, how does my product or service address these issues or needs or the pain points that they have and then just play into that. A great way to find out what people in your industry care about is honestly just the comment section, whether that be on your own content, posts, ads, or videos that you've made, or even going to a competitor's content to see what people are complaining about in their comment sections. Believe me, people are quick to let you know what their pain points are and what they do not like, especially online. So let's recap four major takeaways from this video. First, think about the why. What are you selling someone beyond the product? Will people like them more, respect them more? Will people that they find attractive wanna go on dates with them? What problem or pain point do they have that you're solving? Second is focus on the framing, not the format, AKA it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So once you've identified a problem that your target audience cares about, or you've identified the pain point that they are currently having, how are you presenting your solution to them? Is it being shown to them in a way that makes them feel seen and understood? Again, this is why UGC or user generated content does so well because it doesn't feel like, oh, if you buy this magic lotion, all your skin problems are going to go away. No, it is real people with real skin problems saying, I have this problem, but I use this product and now I don't have this problem. And people can relate to that. Tip number three is optimize everything. There are a ton of different ways to format and optimize your ads and very rarely will the first one ever be a hit. Always use data to optimize everything you do from the creative to the copy. And tip number four is solve a problem. Just like with the dishwasher, nobody cares if it's got the Turbo MXJ 9000 power washer with port and starboard attachments. What they wanna know is, can I run this dishwasher washer while I'm sleeping so it doesn't wake me up. Or I'm tired of having to scrub my dishes before I put them in the dishwasher. Will this fix that? And one just quick kind of piece of bonus advice here. Tip number five is just 
be authentic. You are human, your customers are human, or if they're dogs, well then those dogs have a human. And now is a time more important than ever to just embrace that because like as humans right like our radars for sales tactics have just gone through the roof so whether it's an inspirational founder story or user generated content whatever it is just remember that people aren't buying sales tactics anymore they're buying authenticity so whatever creative or copy you decide on just make sure it's authentic because really at the end of the day that's all people want now so all of this is great for paid ads but what about if you want to increase your organic reach well honestly a lot of these tips and mentality apply to that as well. But there are some big differences between the two. So if you want to learn more about that, learn how you can maximize your organic reach and start getting more views on your content today, then be sure to check out this video right here.